Dragon Raja 2022. Hi, Saviors, GH here. Today, we're gonna do a Dragon Raja gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. Dragon Raja is a fantasy tab targeting MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game. Okay, guys, here's the character creation. And here are the different classes. We got the Soul Dancer over here. Now, here's the Blade Master. Looks cool. Here's the Reaper. Here's the Flora Mancer. She's got a Pokemon. Here's the Gunslinger. Here's the Puppeteer. What's happening here? I think the puppet is covering the actual character. Okay, anyway, here's the Assassin. Let's wait for it. There goes the Assassin. The phantom sound over here, I can't select it. How about the soul dancer? Okay, we already saw the soul dancer. Now here's the skateboarder. Okay, I guess that's a new class. Skateboarder. Now here's the fighter. For some reason, he's got a robot and he can ride it. And here is the illusionist. Okay, so we're gonna play as the skateboarder. I'm kind of interested in this class. Okay, so here goes the gender selection. We can be a male skateboarder. Here goes the female skateboarder. And for some reason, there's a Lolita skateboarder. Okay, let's play as a Lolita skateboarder. Next. Man, we can't play as a skateboarder because we need to have a level 90 character. Wah. So what can we pick here? I played as a gunslinger the last time I played, so we're not gonna play as a gunslinger. So how about let's play as a puppeteer. Let's go. Man, again, I need to have a level 90 character. So how about fighter? No, I need to have a level 70 to play the fighter, man. What can I play here? Okay, I think the only class that we can play is the Blade Master, Gunslinger, Assassin, Soul Dancer, and that's it. Everything else, I need to unlock it. So, let's play as a Blade Master. Next. Oh, we need to go back. We need to select the female Blade Master. Next. There goes the female Blade Master. And here's the character customization. So, how do we do this? I'm selecting all over here and I think these are the presets. Let's check them out. Look at this. If you don't want to over customize your character, you can just choose a preset. But if you so choose to customize your character, here it is guys. This is where we change the face. There's a decent selection of faces over here. And here's the hairstyle. There's about eight hairstyles to choose from over here. And this is where we change the color of the hair. Now this is where we pick the skin tone. And this is where we select the physique. How about let's check out this one. This one is tall and kind of slightly muscular. So how about this? Okay, this one is medium. This one is really small. Okay, so how about let's select the tallest one. So how about let's check out the makeup over here. Okay, so I don't want to <laughs> fiddle with the makeup thing over here because it looks in depth. But if you want to see it briefly, here's where we change the brow. Here's where we change the pupil. Here's where we change the eyelashes and the face. Uh, I don't know what they mean here. Face makeup. Okay, face makeup. There goes the lipstick. This is where we can change the lipstick. And adorn. Kind of like a tattoo. Oh yeah, tattoo on the face. And what else can we pick here? Face. Oh, more face customization over here, guys. If you want to in-depth customize the face of your character, here it is. This is where we change the brow over here. Eyebrow position, angle, and brow bone. This is where we can customize the eyes. Oh, this is the position. Okay. Oh, this is where the size is. We can make a really big eye and a really small eye. No, not really. Okay, let's put it over here. And we can also customize the nose, mouth, cheeks, and ear. And this is where we can customize the body. Ah, uh, yeah. There goes the height. The size, I guess. This is the physique. We can make our character muscular and big or very thin. Of course, we're gonna check out the chest customization. There it goes. We can max it out. Of course, stay that way. Chest position too. Oh, this is position. The size is already maxed out. Not really. I can add a few more. Barely anything changed. So, this is good enough. Enter game. And we're in the game. Before we do the quest, let's figure out the controls. Ugh, okay, we can move by moving this part of the screen. But I'm using an emulator, so I can use WASD. And this is how we attack over here. Can we jump? Is there a jump over here? Nope. Okay, so let's open up our bag. How do we open up our bag? Okay, I guess we can't do anything yet because we just started. We need to talk to Renata. Talk to Renata. 
Man, this game has a really good graphics. I think this is one of the best looking mobile MMORPG I played. At least, well, I haven't really checked out most of the mobile MMORPGs. But this is the best in terms of graphics. Okay, let's select an option. Ah, yeah. This reminds me, there's a lot of conversations in this game. If you like dialogues, conversations in your MMORPGs, you're gonna love this one. According to one of my subscribers, there's a lot of story in this game. Yeah, play this. There's a lot of story. But of course, I mainly skipped it. <laughs> Confirm! Now we need to return that to Renata again. Okay. Renata gave us some equipment. Let's go. Take it. Okay, take that. Wearing the jacket. We got gold and some outfits. The dreamy Aurora outfit. Okay. If you guys want to see the outfit, let's close up. Man, I can't close up. Okay, this is the most close up that I can get it. Okay, put on. It's already on. Open now. What? The game gave us gold. Okay, so now let's do the quest. Hey, wait a minute. We got some kind of a mail over here. Let's open it. It's bothering me. Okay, receive this. Whatever that is. Okay, now close this. How can we close that? Man, I keep exiting the emulator. The game is still downloading. What the what? Okay. Anyway, let's do the quest. And I received more gold. Talk to Herzog over here. He looks like an evil character. Okay, evil guy. Leave. He's the director. Talk to Renata again. Guys, I'm gonna be skipping the story. And if you wanna see the story, you guys gotta have to play the game. We're gonna be focusing on the gameplay. Okay, now our quest is talk to that NPC over there. Vera. Hey, wait a minute. Corkina and Anton. Oh yeah, I need to talk to Corkina and Anton. And then Vera and Sherman. Talk to this ones first. There it goes. Talk to them. Man, the voices doesn't match the character. Okay, anyway. Let's talk to Vera over there. Let's go. Now what? Man, there are red dots. Okay, let's click this red dot over here. What's that about? Bonus? A lucky box. Okay, I think this is a gacha. What's happening here? He wants me to purchase this lucky box. Okay, purchase. We purchased a lucky box and now we need to open it. There it goes. We got some kind of a gem. Okay, close this. And now let's do the quest. What do we need to do now? We need to feed the snow fox. Okay, we're feeding the snow fox over here. There it goes. Now what? I'm clicking the auto path thing, but nothing happens. Okay, there we goes. Now, our next quest is Z finally appears. I guess this guy is Z or Z or Z, whatever. Now I need to find Christmas presents. Let's go. Thankfully, there's an auto path thing and it takes us where we need to go. Yvonne comes running. Now I need to follow Yvonne, but there's a box over here. We need to open it. I think that's Yvonne over here. Okay, let's follow Yvonne. I'm not autopathing guys, I'm following Ivan manually. I'm getting tired of the autopathing. Okay, now I need to ask Ivan. Okay, the conversation with Ivan is over. Now I need to pick up the Christmas present. Okay, we're picking up the presents. There it goes. Pick it up. Now I need to move it to the sled. Man, this game looks nice. I can see that it's not fully downloaded yet. This could look even better when it's done downloading. Okay, we're done putting the presents on the sled. And of course, we're gonna ride the sled and the dogs is dragging us. And we're done with that. We need to talk to Renata over here. Talking to Renata. Now we need to go to the training center. Let's go. Okay, so the game starts out very slow. I've been playing for like 15 minutes and there's no action yet. It's a lot of conversations and cutscenes and talking to NPC's quest. Now we need to run to the director. There goes Herzog, the evil looking guy. Herzog, let's go. Now Herzog is asking us to attack the dummy. And what is this? Uh, I think it's some kind of a monetization. How do we close this? Okay, go check whatever that is. The game is forcing us to check it. Close it. And there he goes. Look at that, guys. We got a weapon now. We're now a blade master. Attack the training target. Should we just click this? Okay. It's approach like tab targeting. The targeting though is auto. Kinda like in tab targeting. Now what? Okay, more targets have been activated. Attack them all. Super AOE skill. This is understandable because this is on mobile devices. Moving the camera is crappy on mobile devices. That's why they did auto lock on. Let's go. Finish this guy. 
There's no auto combat. <laughs> I'm looking for the auto combat. Okay, there's no auto combat yet. Usually, you can find it later on the game. Okay, so now we need to report to Doc. Reporting to Doc. Skip beginner tutorial. Let's hurry this up. Okay, guys, before we continue on with the questing, checking out the game, we're gonna check out the cash shop. Here it is, guys. The item mall. And of course, before we start, prices. The cash shop currency is this. I think it's called coupon. They're not telling me what it is. Okay, let's just call it coupons. And 60 coupons is 1 USD. But if you buy 60 coupons, it also includes 66 bonus coupons. So in total, you get 126 coupons for 1 USD. And of course, if you buy more, you get more bonuses. And this thing over here is the diamonds. This is also another very important currency. This is like the bottleneck for your progression. Well, is that the correct description? I guess if you don't have this, you stop progressing. This is a very important currency in the game. And you can get this by buying a lot of stuff in the cash app that will eventually reward you diamonds. Yeah, as far as I can see, there's no direct way of buying these diamonds. Or I probably couldn't see it. Well, anyway, let's check out the cash app. It's getting too long. And there it goes. We're not gonna check out this hot sale over here. So how about the daily offers? Okay, so look at this, guys. For about 1 USD, we get items worth 500 coupons. And this is the first item over here that the... The Dragon Debris Fragment. It gives you 10k of Dragon Blood EXP. This item is used in the Dragon Blood system in the game. It's kind of like a pet, a dragon pet. You can have a dragon pet in the game and you can have other dragons that you have that you got from the gacha in the game. The currency that's used in the gacha is diamonds. Okay, so anyway, this item is used to strengthen your dragons in the Dragon Blood system. Now this Petite Daily Supply Box over here the items that you get here will eventually make you stronger. Let's just keep it simple. These are all items that will make you stronger. Like for example, these three bones over here, this is used in the Dragon Cocoon system in the game. If I remember correctly, this will increase the tier of your Dragon Pats in the Dragon Cocoon system. And as you increase the tiers of your Dragon Pats, it will increase the stats you get. Eh, well, anyway, just to keep it simple, this petite daily supply box over here, this will make you stronger. This will give you a lot of advantages in the game. And look at that, you also get gems. Gems in here, kind of like in Diablo Immortal. <laughs> it gives you stats like int, you know, strength. You guys get the point. Now we also get a paint can over here, which changes the color of your motor. Now we also get two boxes of rear dragon exuvium. And this one over here is a gacha, guys. If I'm correct, this is a gacha. We can either get a beam, a scale, a wing, or a bone. Yes, these items are used in the Dragon Cocoon system in the game. It basically, to keep it simple, if you get those beam, scale, wing, and bone, it will make you stronger. You need this in the game to win. So, <laughs> that's that. Man, this video is getting too long. Okay, so how about let's check out this item over here. You get Ryu Bones. As I've said, this item is used in the Dragon Cocoon system that makes you stronger. So the more Ryu Bones you got, the stronger you are and more paint items and there it goes we also get a petite daily box over here makes you stronger gives you a lot of advantages now this dragon firefly gives you 100k of dragon blood exp which as i've said this is used in the dragon blood system in the game yeah it makes you stronger just to keep it simple okay so again it's getting too long i want to check this out real quick and we also have a battle pass here guys look at this a battle pass it's your typical battle pass that gives you items very useful in the game so yeah there goes the free version and here's the premium version there's two kinds of battle pass here there's a 10 dollar one and a 20 usd one what else can we check out here Okay, in this new journey over here, this is where we can get some diamonds and other items useful in the game. There's also a free one. Look at this. If I take this, I can get items worth 300 diamonds. It also gives gold, elemental gems, and amethyst potions. Okay, let's take it. There it goes. This one can only be redeemed once. Now here's the fashion tab, guys. We can buy a maid outfit, a hairstyle, this fashion over here. We can buy this. And for some reason, also this kawaii logo. We can also buy it. There goes an earring and some glasses. There's two kinds of glasses over here. And more outfits. Oh, these are hairstyles, guys. Different hairstyles. 
Wow, there's a lot of hair stats in here. Okay, so that's that, guys. There's a lot more items in this cash shop. Man, it's really crazy. And you guys know what this game is. And I'm pretty sure you already saw what you needed to see. So let's go on and play the game. Okay, so what we need to do is talk to the principal, Anjo. Look at this, somebody playing, guys. Look at her. She's got a nice costume. And look at this place. This is what I like about this game. It looks real nice for a mobile game. Okay, anyway, let's talk to the principal. Okay, now we need to head to Ava's room. Let's go. We're now autopathing and heading to Ava's room. I think that's the room over here. Looks nice. And there goes Ava. And according to the quest, I need to stand over here. How about this? Just press the autopath thing. What? Oh no. Over here? What's happening? Cutscene. Close this. Okay, now we need to talk to the principal again. Some of the voice acting is re Some of the voice acting is real nice. But most are... I don't know, man. <laughs> Okay, so now we need to find the college outfit. And there it goes. This game really starts out very slow. They shouldn't have done this. And we got a new outfit, guys. Look at this. Nice. Now we need to get the college gear. Get the college gear. We're currently getting it. Put it on. Equip. Our battle power is increasing. There it goes. Now we need to talk to Ava again. Gate of Castle, chapter one. Okay, now what? Now we need to leave the principal's office. Now what? It's asking me to press this. Why though? Club? What club? Okay, how about let's do the club later. And let's just do the quest. And where are we going? Look at this place, man. I like the design of this place. It's very modern and sci-fi. Look at this, somebody playing. It's really nice to know that this game is still alive and well. I've seen a lot of people roaming around. Okay, so uh, where do we need to go again? Look at that, there's somebody over here. Warning! There's a cutscene over here. Skip this. And enemies, finally. Attack! Where's the auto battle, guys? <laughs> There's no auto battle yet. Let's go! What's happening here? I'm still learning that I need to highlight an enemy before I need to click a skill. Because no matter what I do, it still attacks the one highlighted. Kinda like in tab targeting. Man, this is really hard to describe. I guess this is best described as hybrid tab targeting. Man, we, this really is troublesome. Because we highlight an enemy before we can attack it. Okay, so anyway, talk to Luminous. Luminous is thirsty. You want me to buy water for you. You son of a... Okay, let's go to the vending machine and get some water. There it goes. Get some water. What? It's asking me to press this. But Luminous wants water. Oh, get the water. Purchase. Okay. Now let's go back to Luminous. Give him the water. Yo, here's your water gift. Now we need to level up a skill. Okay. I think we need to fight enemies now. But first... It's asking me to click the skill over here to upgrade them. Okay, confirm. The in-game currency is gold, guys. And now what? Follow Luminous. We're following Luminous. And where are we going? Where's the enemies? Dead servitors. Okay, pop out, guys. We're gonna defeat you. There he goes. A monster. Fight him. Okay, so there are action elements, guys. Telegraphed attacks. It feels like tab targeting because it's a mobile game. They did it in a way that it's auto highlighting and that makes the game feels like tab targeting. But if you want to be technical, this could be hybrid tab targeting. Let's go. Man, you have a lot of HP. What's happening here? Do I have any quests over here that I need to do? Takes a while to kill this guy. Let's go. What's happening? Dodge that telegraphed attack, bro. What? Still got hit? What? Do I need to do anything here? What's happening here? Wait a minute. What's happening there? The enemy ran away? Oh, it got defeated? Okay, we're auto healing, guys. Where's the auto battle? 
I haven't seen the auto battle yet, guys. Talk to Luminous? Wow. We're texting an ally. What? I can't skip this? Okay. We're gonna send a message to our ally. No, no, senpai. What? Oh, we're actually texting. What the what? Okay, I appreciate this. Communication has ended. Okay. Turn over the quest. Level pack. Okay, claim this level pack over here. Then close it. It's asking me to open all of this stuff. How do we open up our bag here? Okay, we're gonna do that later. What do we need to do? We're gonna meet No No and Caesar. There he goes. There goes Caesar. And No No. We need to go to the college square. Oh, look at this, guys. They gave us motorbikes. Let's pick the red one. Confirm. How do we ride the bike? This is nice. Where's the bike? Got it. But where's the icon for the bike? Hop on the motor. Okay. I clicked the auto pathing and look at this. <laughs> We're riding the bike. This is really nice. Look at this. This is awesome. And that's Dragon Raja from the start. It still remains one of the best looking MMORPG I checked out. Now, as for the starting experience, it's incredibly slow. There isn't much action, it's more of a talk to NPCs and dialogue all day. Now, the combat, I'm labeling this as tab targeting because of how we target an enemy. Technically, it's highlight targeting because we don't have tab here, obviously, but the behavior is the same as tab targeting. It relies heavily on highlighting an enemy before we can do anything. And as you've seen in the gameplay, there's action elements like telegraph attacks and the ability to dodge. All in all, I wouldn't mind playing Dragon Raja if I didn't have anything else to play. And unfortunately, I'm playing a lot right now. But if you want to play the game, the details are on the screen. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.